Welcome to my dog hair. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so we can hang out here, help each other out, support each other, and tell our stories. I look a little bit like Carol Channing today. <laughs> anyway, there is a voice inside your head that tells you you can't do things. A naysayer that lives deep in the recesses of our brains. You can call it ego, you can call it old man resistance. I call him Fred. And Fred loves to tell us what we can't do. Oh, you're not right for that promotion. You can't accomplish that goal. You'll never make that amount of money. You shouldn't speak on camera because no one's gonna listen to somebody with a speech impediment. Well, you know what, Fred? Here I am speaking on camera, so up your nose with a rubber hose. Fred's just the office jerk of your head. You have to fire that guy. No, like, every day. You have to fire him every day because he lives in your ego, so he's never really gonna leave the building, but, but that's okay. We know he's gonna be there saying all of his baseless garbage nonsense, so we can cut him off at the pass. And if you have a challenge, physical or otherwise, you really have to spend a lot of time falling in love with yourself so that you can come at Fred with evidence that you're awesome. But how much time do we really spend falling in love with ourselves every day? Not that much, because Fred the Jerk is telling us we're no good and filling our heads with lies. Now, when I talk about falling in love with ourselves, I am not talking about taking selfies. I'm talking about two things. Building genuine self-esteem and confidence and falling in love with life. Our brains are wired to get stuck on the no's and the can'ts and the limitations. Putting ourselves out there with our work and our creativity seems nearly impossible. Fred is going to try to hijack your imagination. Don't let him. He wants to be miserable about the things we've lost. Shift your focus away from him and channel your energy into constructive action. Let me tell you something about myself. I love to sing. Fred loves to tell me that I'm never going to sing or perform again. Here's me looking around for who the f*** asked him. Fred doesn't know crap. Maybe someone will write a musical about a woman with oral cancer and I'll sing it on the Broadway. Maybe I'll front my own charity band and we'll play at an oral cancer fundraiser. We have to live in a space of wild imagination. Are we thinking big enough? Are we giving ourselves permission to fantasize about the most amazing things that could happen to us? And then are we taking tiny steps to make that thing a reality, no matter how small. There's already plenty of people out in the world who are going to say no to us. But you know what? It's none of our business what they think. Our business is to do our work, to continue creating, to nurture every possibility. And why should we walk through life saying, I'm not ready, I'm not good enough, when we also have the choice of thinking, why not? Why not this possibility? Why not that possibility? Maybe the moment we discover that we have a major limitation, we'll find that to be the moment that we're suddenly able to live our very best lives. To find ourselves in this state of such luscious discomfort, such beautiful growth, that opportunities come flying towards us at lightning speed. Fred will try to talk you out of it, He's got all sorts of reasons why you shouldn't love yourself, but Fred is wrong. Fire that guy! 